H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Let's learn how to create account in Salesforce. So you need to type this URL developer.salesforce.com in a browser. Then when you open this, it will show you this page where you will see login and sign up buttons. So if you want to make new instance, so you need to click on sign up. So by clicking sign up, it will allow you to get your very own developer edition and that is completely free and this is based on salesforce lightning platform so you need to fill all these details and it will send an email to set your password so let's uh, understand this how we can create so i'm putting name as Salesforce admin. Now here I need to put the name, sorry, email. So putting my email ID, then role, let's say administrator, company name, you can put anything, ABC. Then you can select country. So I'm selecting India then you can select postal code then this is important username so this username will let you log in into salesforce org so i am putting sfdc configurations org at the rate gmail.com so it will test and let you know whether this username available or not. So our username is SFDC configurations or at the rate gmail.com. So after filling all these information, click sign me up. So it is showing this message almost there. Please check your email to confirm your account. So I'm moving to my email ID and so here is the mail. Welcome to Salesforce. Verify your account. So you need to open this email and here you can see our username is available. Now you need to click on verify account. So it will ask you to reset the password. So here, read the instructions carefully. You need to make sure to include at least eight characters, one letter, one number. So here you need to put your password. Then here you need to select a security question and click on change password. So here you can see it is launching setup and these welcome uh, cards are available here. So you can read these information, close this. So this is basically backend of Salesforce, which let you know regarding object manager and it provides this quick find search box where you can find various settings related to Salesforce. So if I click on this object manager, 
So it will show you all available objects that we will discuss later in other videos. If I click on home, so here I can find various settings. For example, if I want to create email template, so I can write email template. So these options are available. So this way you can utilize this setup to search or to configure anything. So this works as a backend. Now, this is app launcher. And through this app launcher, you can open a particular application. So let's say I am opening sales application. So I'm opening it in new tab. So regarding apps, we will also discuss in uh, later videos. So this is basically application. So this is front end of Salesforce. Now, sometimes when you will be logging in, so you will see this setup window. Sometimes you will see this front end application or this app can be anything. So now we need to understand how we can control this thing. So if you want to open apps uh, after just after logging in, so that is also possible. And by default, it opens setup. So let's understand how we can change this. So you need to click uh, here, top right corner, then click on settings. Now here you can see, uh, this is regarding your personal information. So here you can search. So here we need to search, customize my page, my pages. So here uh, there is an option, additional options, make setup my default landing page. So by default for your user, it is enabled. So it will always open this setup window. If you disable this and save, so whenever you will be logging in, so you will see this application. So let me just log out. I'm logging in. So here you can skip all these things. So this time you will see it will automatically open front end of Salesforce that is application. So this way you can control default landing page. So it can be setup or it can be application. So setup is backend of Salesforce through which you can do some configuration and Applications are front end through which you can access data or uh, whatever configuration you have done through setup. Uh, so you can access those through this front end application.